I love Lissandro Martinez and he is injured again and it really felt like things were starting to get back on track. That little quartet of Martinez, Varane, Casemiro, Menu. I saw that as the platform for Manchester United to play out from, to dominate possession, to move the ball into the final third and just as things start to get back on track, Martinez is out injured again. Now, it's been a mega unlucky season for United and it's been a mega unlucky season for Martinez with these injuries. Now, he suffered some level of knee ligament damage during our 3-0 win against West Ham on Sunday. He was playing only his third league game after more than three months out with a foot injury. Now he's going to be out for people that are expecting to be another two. It'll probably be April before we see him in a United shirt again. And the worry is, the excitement was quite rightly bubbling across Old Trafford after the 3-0 battering of West Ham. Is Martinez's injury going to derail things yet again and surgery isn't required but eight weeks without our best ball playing center half would hurt anyone I think one of the major reasons United have looked so off the pace this year despite the plaudits that the likes of Maguire were getting playing in his place are a nightmare because we could we do not play to the same level the the speed of his thought the speed of his tackling the way he moves the ball through the lines nobody in united's team can do that nobody he is literally unique in the way he plays and he's integral to us i think the the attitude and the spirit that he plays with transcend just what he gives you on the pitch as well ten Hag called it a personal disaster uh, for martinez but it feels like a personal disaster to the team now for the rest of the season People are going to be asking, what does that mean? Now, we've got some pretty decent tests in the next few games. We've got Villa, and you can't write Villa off at all at the moment. You've got Luton, who have been actually shocking everybody at the moment. You've got Fulham, you've got the FA Cup, and then City. It's a tough run, but more than tough, it's a bloody important one. We are hovering just outside the top four. We need to really overtake and catch up in the next whatever games to be able to put ourselves back in that top four. It's going to require us to improve rather than other teams around us to falter, I think. And we can do it. We can put together a run that would see us back in the top four. And that's where we have to be at the end of the season. We need all hands on deck. I thought it was going to be tough with Martinez. Now it looks like it's a mountain to climb. And... United have got some serious questions that need answering. And the big one right now is going to be, can we do it without Martinez? Our build-up improved astronomically since Martinez stepped back into the team. Against West Ham, our build-up success increased by 86.5%. And he didn't do it alone, but he is the, the key player that's in that little system. He is a natural passer of the ball. He's incredibly press resistant. You can pass him the ball whilst he's marked. He'll get out of it. He's so comfortable under pressure. And he is one of the very, very few that have the desire to pass through a press. You're going to miss him. Rose are red, violets are blue. Give your balls a trim. And your evening might end with more than a thank you. Anyway. Valentine's Day is knocking on the door and Manscaped has got the cure that the love doctor has been banging on about. We're diving into the performance package 5.0 Ultra crafted to boost your grooming game and make you sparkle. Let's not beat around the bush, so to speak. You are clued up on Manscaped by now, surely. If this is not your first day on the internet, I know you know what it's all about. And if this is your first day on the internet, welcome. You're going to be in for a busy day. Um, cut the faff. Get yourself sorted. There's 10 million men worldwide that are sorting their balls out with Manscaped. You need to be one of those. Head on over to manscaped.com. Use the code house and that's H-O-W-S-O-N and you'll grab yourself 20% off plus free shipping. It's almost a steal. But they're not just talking about keeping the lawn neat, are they? Right? The Lawnmower 5.0 armed with a skin safe technology keeps your crown jewel safe. It's got the LED. It's also waterproof. And we're not stopping there though because you've got the Weed Whacker 2.0, the Manscaped liquid formulations and two free gifts, which is the Shed Travel Bag and the Boxers 2.0. All about comfort, if you're catching what I'm saying. And to top it off, Manscaped Refined Cologne is there for that finishing touch. Stop fucking around. Head on over to manscaped.com. Use the code HOUSEN for 20% off and free shipping. Sorted. The plan has to be very clear what we're going to do about it. We're obviously going to miss him, but you can't dwell on it. Now you have to go, all right, how do we get through this? At the moment, 
Who is the centre half partnership that you're going to go with? Who is the primary ball player of the two? Can we afford to put Maguire back into the team and completely fucking remix the way that we've been playing out from the back? I would suggest with the, the form that we're seeing out of Delo or starting to see out of Delo, if Juan Basaka's all right, because he's been a missing for a minute, I think you go with Luke Shaw or you go with Johnny Evans and you go with them before you go with Maguire. The April return is is when you, you're hoping to see him. You In that time, you've got Chelsea, Liverpool, Bournemouth, Newcastle and Burnley in that month. If you can get him back and fit for those games late on in the season, maybe you've got a chance. But there is a real chance that you might not see him to leave after those games. Lissandro Martinez is going to be a massive, massive loss for us. And it's not an injury that people don't come back from. I said this last week, and um, the more I think about it, the more it makes sense. He is a Brian Robson-style character. He is a Brian Robson-style leader. Like, he's not going to be constantly shouting at everyone, but he does have a little word with you, and he leads by example. And he puts himself in places where there is a risk of injury, and he plays on the edge like he doesn't care about the consequences of an injury. And Brian Robson famously was injured a lot, partially because of the way he used to play the game. He was full throttle. He was 10 out of 10. There's no such thing as a 50-50 when Robbo was trying to win the ball. That's his ball. Get out the fucking way. And Lissandro Martinez plays with the same sort of mentality. Which, by the way, is one of the biggest compliments I think it's possible to to pay a Manchester United player. That he's got that Brian Robson in him. And I have no qualms in saying that there is a Brian Robson in Lissandro Martinez. Or it's a shorter Brian Robson in Lissandro Martinez, but it's a Brian Robson that's in him. And that is a, a hell of a mentality for anybody to have. But what it does do is it results in injuries. And Brian Robson maybe didn't last as long as he should have done, didn't play on to the level he should have done for as long as he should have done because of those injuries. And I would hate to see Lissandro Martinez go down the same path, but it certainly feels like you might be seeing Lissandro Martinez going down a similar sort of path as that because these injuries are starting to mount up. And every injury is going to take something from you as a player. You, know, you can't just r- ride out every single one and be fine. Let's hope that we get our butcher back because... The glimpses we've seen of him since he came back have been phenomenal. And the difference in Manchester United when he's in it is is noticeable. I'm going to have to figure out a way to play without him. Johnny Evans might end up being our player of the year the way this is going. See you in the next one. Hey, thank you for watching the video. If you are new around these parts, then don't forget to subscribe. My channel is proudly supported by my community on Patreon. If you'd like to get a little bit of extra content, a Discord group, meetups, five-a-side games, weekly podcasts, behind the scenes, and even an occasional bit of transfer news as and when I get it, then for the price of a pint, you can show your appreciation for the content that we make and get some goodies for doing so as well. Check the link in the description or click the button right here. You'll also find all of my socials here too if you want to follow me on any of those platforms. Nice one.